what's coming up on pntlive.net. Many of you may remember late last May on the Porn News Today Live webcast, I discussed porn industry veteran Melissa Hills taking to task of an unscrupulous, unethical, and quite possibly illegal pornography studio known as D&E Media. Melissa Hill decided to approach via social media platforms, XBiz, XCritic, and a multitude of other adult industry news outlets in regards to the abuse and quite possibly the obscenity practices that DNE Media appears to be involved in. Now, since Melissa Hill has spoken out, there have been several linked to the adult entertainment industry who have chosen to unjustifiably attempt to discredit her and bully her and even threaten her. That's not right. But in the upcoming pntlive.net Porn News Today Live podcast, we're going to get into the nitty gritty of exactly what is going on when it comes to that situation. Leave them out because I want I want people in the industry to know exactly what happens to performers who speak out. Now I'm not a performer anymore. I'm retired. So I'm not worried about being blacklisted or anything like that. But girls that are concerned about those things, this type of tactic uh, is very scary. And I can see why a lot of performers, when they speak out and they receive threats like the ones I'm about to read out to you, I can see why they go silent. And in addition, in another upcoming PNT Live Porn Law News video podcast, we're going to go ahead and delve deep into the possible legal breaches of D&E Media, AKA Ghetto Gaggers, AKA Latina Abuse, AKA Facial Abuse, AKA Radical Jislam. Because not to spoil the podcast, but just on the surface, D&E Media appears to be breaching trademark law. Their primary director is utilizing a name that has been long time trademarked by Lucasfilms Limited. You know, the people who make Star Wars. So how are they getting away with it? And if they're willing to breach just trademark law, what other kinds of legalities are they willing to breach? That's something that we're gonna talk about. One thing I do want everyone to keep in mind when it does come to the pornography industry is that each and every porn star is not only an adult actor or actress, they are also a public figure. And one thing that I do want to really get into when it comes to the fact that these individuals are public figures is the rampant deaths. There have been so many unusual and strange deaths that have occurred over the past few years that all revolve around porn stars, not just August Ames, but let's not forget about January Sarah, Shelly Lubin, and as of today, a young woman who is known as Kimberly Ann. Too much death. These are public figures. Why are these deaths not being investigated further? Is it because they're adult actors and actresses, AKA sex workers, which are viewed as being bottom of the barrel in society? Something to discuss. So once more, I'm Alex Mayers, and remember, you can keep up with these podcasts and quite a few coming up in the future on pntlive.net. And remember, if you just want to keep up with me, all you got to do is visit alexandramayerslive.com. See you on social media. Bye-bye.